cuckoos calling, the daffodils blooming, and the temperatures rising. Spring has sprung, and that means it's wedding season, right? Not exactly. Weddings are now 24-7, 365 days of the year, and at Kirkcaldy for All we've scoured the world, well, actually Kirkcaldy High Street, to bring you our unique series of wedding expert videos, so that you get the perfect service on your perfect day. Claire, can you tell us a bit about how wedding cakes have evolved, if you like, over the, over the years? Okay, well, um, years, years ago, obviously, um, a lot of cakes used to be your traditional fruit cake. So a lot of people would like to keep their top tier and have it and keep it for when their first child was born. Nowadays, flavour wise, there's hundreds to choose from. Um, you know, we do things from um, white chocolate and raspberry uh, to chocolate orange and fruit cake tends to be fizzling out now. So I hardly do any fruit cake weddings anymore. Um, although they're most certainly welcome. Um, in terms of style, um, what we've found is is that your traditional cakes are kind of more royal icing and they've got a lot of um, detailed kind of traditional piping. Whereas nowadays people are going for you know your, your naked cakes, so these are um, really popular. And your naked cakes, they're they're not covered with any icing or anything like that. It's basically your sponge. Um, they're filled with the buttercream and your jam and whatnot, and then they're decorated with fresh flowers or fresh fruit. Um, and then you've also got your, your half and half cake, so you've got half of it maybe kind of style of chocolate, or you've even maybe got a, a Marvel themed, um, if the groom is into that kind of, of, of thing. And then you've got your other side of the cake then, which would be your nice traditional kind of white um, wedding cake, which the bride would prefer. So you can have a bit of both worlds in there. Some people are completely changing now, so obviously this is more of a French thing, but um, we have um, we did a wedding last year for 600 guests, where I made 600 profiteroles, and we made a humongous big croque and bouche, so that was delivered to Glasgow at the Science Centre, that was an amazing opportunity. So yeah, they had these humongous big croque and bouche, and that was decorated with um, white, dark and milk chocolate roses, so that was amazing and then they, they cut that with a, with a massive sword. Apparently that's um, French tradition. So we're, you know, you get, I think we're getting kind of worldwide things that are kind of moving, moving around and that are coming up um, every now and again. So um, yeah, they've completely changed now. Um, wedding cakes are a lot more exciting, a lot more kind of vibrant. In terms of colours, they're not necessarily just your white kind of cakes anymore. So I've got a few cakes coming up this year actually. You know, you've got your skulls on them, they're black and you know, the completely black cake and they're decorated with red roses and things like that. So yeah, a lot of cakes are more personal and I think people are, um, you know, they're not scared to have a cake that suits them personally, as opposed to back in the day when the traditional thing was to have a white cake, decorated, very traditional. So yeah, they've definitely changed. As terms for um, trying to book your cake, I would certainly say to book it as soon as possible. I mean, this is obviously, this is 2016 just now. Um, we have over 52 weddings booked this year. We have about 20 booked for next year. Um, and then we've also got a couple for 2018 as well. So I would definitely say if you have your eye on a Pacific supplier, book them ASAP. Even if you don't know the design that you want to go down just now, as long as you've booked them, paid a deposit, you've got your date booked, there's plenty of time still then to arrange and, and have your, your cake tastings and your, having your cake designed for you. From roses to rings, from kilts to confetti, for less tantrums and more tiaras, a visit to the experts in Kirkcaldy's town centre is a must. Or why not visit the Kirkcaldy for All website and Facebook pages and get more info on making your day one to remember.